My name is Nereri Kente. I was born in Tanzania, but I live here in Lexington. My pronouns are she and her, and I am in the visual arts discipline. I wouldn't say I necessarily have like a set process. You find something that inspires you, and then you work based off of that, and then you get it to a point where you feel like it's like time to make your piece. Sometimes you create what you wanted, and it turns out the way you wanted it to, but it still feels like something is missing, so you just add on to it from there on. Oil paintings is like my favorite medium because obviously you could use colors or you could choose not to use colors and um, textures and there's a lot of things you could add into oil paint to make it more than just a flat piece. Being surrounded by people who love art just as much as I do has been like inspiring because in a like a more like school like art class not everybody wants to be in there some people take it just for the credit it's kind of like disheartening when you're working on something and there's like people in your like area who just like don't want to be there and it's like negative energy here everybody has like positive energy and like we're working more fast paced so like you learn that you can work more fast paced it's just you keeping yourself from doing what you can do a reoccurring theme in my artwork is like being optimistic about everything because like there's some pieces I have that's like obviously not like the happiest piece but I feel like through art you're able to alter your reality so like you could kind of make what you want. Like, as an artist I hope to make like a positive impact on myself, my community and just like everybody who has access to my work. I want um, my work to be interpreted in different ways by like a lot of people. I'm like more open-minded through my art than I would be if I wasn't doing art right now. So it's like a brain exercise, but a good one, not like a boring. Uh -huh. A challenge I have faced, and I feel like a lot of people like face it as well, is like just your art being accepted. Like most of the time it is by your own family, friends, community, but it's just art, especially in the African community for me, I feel like it's seen more as like a hobby and it's not like a profession, so like if you want to like take it further than just like high school art class, it's kind of like frowned upon. So I feel like that's the biggest challenge I've faced so far. I feel fortunate to have had the opportunity to come to GSA. Now I actually look forward to going like back home and like doing it on my own time instead of like dreading it when I have to do it. A message I would give to like any artist in any art form is to create art for yourself because I feel like there was like a point where I was like creating art for other people I wouldn't really like it once you start like making art for other people and not yourself like it starts to lose its like purpose like, as long as you're like content and happy with what you're making that's like what matters even though like you might want like the accolades and the flowers or whatnot the whole purpose of art is to create for yourself